As well as being part of Stobart's gardening team, Ed Stobart also played for its sponsored polo team. In a few days, he'll be flying out to Spain for some pre-season games. But first, the horses will be going overland in one of the biggest horse boxes in the world. But there's no Stobart locker. It's been hired out to the Prince of Brunei, so carries his royal livery. And when it reaches Spain, it'll be his for the summer. One of the drivers that will be taking charge of this 14-wheel monster is 24-year-old Jack McDermott. <laughs> Play track again, okay. But if something went wrong, I think I'll uh, head straight out to the job centre <laughs> tomorrow morning. Today, Jack and co driver Chris Crane are at the Stobart Stables in Cheshire to get the horses on board. Nico San Romain is the Argentinian captain of the polo team, and he, along with four horse crews, will be following the horse box down to Spain. It's a good opportunity for our horses and the players to get uh, start to get fit for the season. 17 horses worth over a quarter of a million pounds are going to be making the trip. It's all being paid for by the Prince of Brunei, whose family fortune is estimated at 20 billion dollars. The trainer's one of a kind, a custom-built, modified, articulated horse box worth 70 grand. It can carry up to 18 horses in a climate-controlled environment. Because it's such a long unit, there are CCTV cameras both at the front and at the rear to keep an eye on the precious cargo. Outside, there are eight huge storage compartments to carry everything, from the rider's personal belongings to the horse's saddles and the all-important polo mallets. To be lowered, for the horses to be easily loaded into the back via an electronic ramp. All 17 horses are loaded, so we are ready to go. Today, they're traveling 270 miles from Nutsford in Cheshire to Dover, where they'll spend the night at a horse hotel. Yes, a hotel for horses. All will be explained later. The two drivers take it in turns behind the wheel. Jack, three hours into their journey, the horses seem relaxed with Jack's driving as does Chris. It's a great help, Chris. Hard work, eh? Nico in the car behind is concerned about his horses, so gives Chris a rude awakening. He wants an update on the CCTV images. What, what is that? I'll the last time again. But he may have tempted fate. Chris notices he can't see one of the horses. It's vital the horses can be seen at all times. So they decide to pull over. They have to be quick in case they unsettle all the horses. When they open up, the horse they were concerned about, the one at the back nearest the door, appears to be alive and well. Yeah, they're all fine, yeah. I guess it's the camera angle and the sun, which is hard to say, but better safe than sorry, they're all standing up, they're all okay. Chris takes the wheel for the rest of the journey. After seven hours on the road, the lads are now minutes away from their destination, a bed and breakfast in Dover. Two miles, doing all right. Not for the drivers, but for the horses. Horses are doing the horse hotel for the night, the horses will get a good night's sleep in five-star luxury. 